Hello everyone and welcome back to a new Versagina video. In this video we do something very important for the Renesis engine. That will improve the power delivery across the ref range. First thing to do is set up a final tune. By that I mean having perfect AFRs, a perfect ignition timing. Now you have to create two ma map copies from your finished map. One map copy has to be set up so the APV1 and APV2 as well as the VDI open at 2000 RPM. And the other one has to be set up so the APV1 and 2 as well as the VDI open at 9500 RPM. So they basically will never open. Now drive the car from 2000 to 9000 RPM with both maps and create log files. You basically only need to do this once, so don't worry about like repeating it three or four times with the valves closed, since that is not very healthy for the engine. As you can imagine, since you're restricting airflow by a tremendous amount. So drive that tune only once, maybe twice, if you're not sure if you did it correctly and open the log files I will show you now and what you can see in the log file is the RPM range right so you calculate the RPM increase from 3000 to 4000 RPM in terms of time in seconds and you can be very accurate, like I've gone to the lengths of setting it to 1000 seconds and just comparing it. And you go across the ref range from 3000 to 4000, 4000 to 5000 RPM. You calculate the time it takes the engine with open and close valves. And you will notice that at some point the engine benefits from having the valves open instead of closed. For me that point was at around 6950 RPM. So after I found that point I set it to around 100 to 200 RPM, lower than that, to compensate for the time the valve takes to open, since it takes actually a few milliseconds for the valve to fully open. The VDI is still set at 9500 RPM. You will now have to see when it benefits the engine from having the VDI open as well. So you flash that new map to the car and log it again from 2000 to 9000 RPM. And now you compare the new set APV map to the open valve map. Then you can calculate where the VDI crossover point is. Mine was at around 7600 RPM. So the VDI takes time to open as well. So it's set it to 7500 RPM. And now you flash that tune where you set the APV and the VDI timing for your specific engine and drive the car a last time. Log the AFR and log the RPM as well as the ignition timing and check for knock and if everything looks good the AFRs are where they should be and the RPM is steady in terms of how it climbs like you can see in this graph as well then you did a good job everything is set perfectly and you should have the most power across the RPM range. I will now show you what the difference between 
the valves open, closed, only the APV set and with everything set looks like and you can see for yourself if that makes a big difference or not. So I thank you for watching and if any questions arise don't ask in the comments. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.